Some of you may have heard the term of being wired in, where you're so locked in on your code that you don't even realize what's going on around you. I'm Sean Parker. Oh, he's wired in. That's what I'm talking about. But how do you achieve this state of nirvana, which allows for the most optimized form of writing bugs? I mean, writing code. Well, I'm gonna teach you the tips and tricks that allow me to make the most efficient use of my time. And no, it doesn't involve Adderall. So in terms of the time of the day to do your best work, this is gonna depend on you. For me, I get my best work done in the afternoons and the evenings. I'm not really a morning person. I may or may not sleep till noon sometimes, but I know most people are most efficient in the morning when their brain is fresh. The first step is gonna be your preparation. They say success is when preparation meets opportunity. And yes, I saw that in a cheesy Instagram post, but that's not the point. The first step is to gather everything I need at my desk. The point of this is to reduce the amount of times I get up out of my chair. Because the more times I get out of my chair, the more likely I am to get distracted, go lie on the couch, start watching YouTube videos, or like doom scrolling on TikTok. TikTok is still the worst thing ever. The first thing is liquids. I always have my water jug next to me because you know, you gotta stay hydrated. Matter of fact, if you have water around you, I want you to just, you know, take a sip right now. I feel like we just, we don't drink enough water throughout the day. The next thing I like to have around me is some sort of caffeine. I prefer tea. I do drink coffee sometimes, but I prefer tea because it just makes me less jittery and less likely to crash. You could also get one of those cup warmers. I, I drink iced tea and iced coffee, so I don't really need it. But if you're a hot coffee drinker, um, this will just keep your coffee warmer. So you know, you're less likely to get up and go heat it up. I also go to the restroom beforehand. Again, just giving myself less reasons to get up out of my chair throughout that window where I'm really focused in. The next thing is to keep snacks around my desk. And notice the key here is to just have everything around my desk so I'm not moving around a lot. So preferably healthy snacks like you know grapes, sliced apples, baby carrots. Those are all good things to just sort of snack on while you're working. I don't like having big meals while I work. I feel like my hands are just occupied and I can't really work. And I'm just more likely to get in a food coma after I finish. The next and probably the most important tip is to remove all forms of distraction. And what's the biggest form of distraction we have nowadays? It's gonna be our phones. Dude, put that thing away. So put the phone away. Personally, I like to take my phone, put it in my backpack and put my backpack out of reach and out of sight. Even having my phone in reaching distance is like a killer for my distraction because I know subconsciously, I'm just gonna pick it up without even thinking and just waste time. All right, let's talk about what I have on this giant screen behind me. So this is a super ultra wide monitor. It's the equivalent of having two 27 inch monitors side by side. The key here is to have only windows up that I'll need. So one third of my screen will be my browser just so I can quickly look things up like on Stack Overflow or if I need to look up a tutorial on YouTube. Although beware of the YouTube homepage because that thing is not your friend. It's designed to make you click videos and, and waste your time. So either those things or just like the 50 tabs I'll need open when I'm stuck on a problem. I also have Spotify up uh, for music. I have headphones, but I usually just use my speakers because I live at home and I don't know, it sounds better. I like to play music without lyrics. I just find it less distracting. I feel like music with lyrics, it feels like someone's talking to me and I just, and I kind of lose focus. So usually I'll just put on like a long lo-fi playlist and the Spotify window itself can be distracting. So I'll just usually leave that minimized. All right, so this is a video about code. Let's talk about the software tools I use for efficiency. So another third of my monitor will usually be code editors. And I also like to utilize the code editor feature. So, you know, something like the mini map, just so I can scroll around the page quicker and know where I am on the page. I'll utilize the terminal within the IDE just so I'm not trying to switch between windows trying to find my terminal. I'll also use like the built-in source control tools that uh, usually the IDEs have. That way, again, not going back and forth between windows, just little things like that can make a big difference for time efficiency. So with the rest of the real estate I'll have on my monitor, it'll just be something like maybe an extra code window, maybe like a MySQL workbench if I need to look up something quickly, or I've been using Docker a lot recently, so like maybe my Docker desktop. What I won't have open are my chats. Silence your chats, your Discord, your Slack, your Teams, your... Webex, people still use that. So put those all on do not disturb, disable pop-ups. I won't have anyone's Twitch stream up, only what I need for the current work at hand. All right, let's talk about some other tools that are helpful. One is having a comfortable chair. This one is super underrated. If a chair that I'm sitting in is uncomfortable, I'm not gonna wanna sit on it for a long period of time. Some of you guys probably remember that old gaming chair I had, kind of made me look like an adult still trying to be a teenager, but man, that thing was not fun to sit in. It was super uncomfortable. My back started hurting. So I upgraded to this chair right here, which is a Herman Miller Aeron. 
probably the most well-known chair in the world, but it's $1,800, which sounds, which is an insane amount of money to spend on a chair. But a chair is like, this is what you spend most of your day in. But I've always been one to not hold back on spending on things that I'm actually gonna be using. Especially your chair, you're gonna be using it like every day for a long period of time. Especially like me, I work from home. So it's really an investment in your health. It's supposed to keep you in an upright position to help improve your posture. Um, it's made out of mesh, so it kind of feels like you're sitting on a, on a hammock right now and it allows for airflow, so it doesn't really get hot when I sit on it for a long period of time, which is really helpful during the summer months. So the next thing I use are these blue light glasses. These are a game changer. Your eyes are eventually gonna get fatigued staring at a screen. Our eyes were not meant to stare at the same thing at the same distance for long periods of time. Blue light is what mostly causes eye fatigue, and these glasses are made to block that out. So I highly recommend these. I also try to use like a dark theme on any type of code editor that I'm using that also helps. I might just leave these on for the rest of the video because these lights are really bright and it does actually help with light brightness as well. So other than that, it's just surrounding myself with things that I enjoy, things that make my workspace more comfortable and just a place that I want to be in. For example, I just got this custom mechanical keyboard. I've never had a custom keyboard. And I mean, this thing, it sounds great. It feels great to type on. And it just gives me a reason to want to stay seated and use it. I also use a foot stand. Again, just things that make my workspace comfortable. Because especially the older you get, you'll just have like pain for no reason. Like sitting down was something that I used to do when I was tired. Now, like I'll sit down and after a while, like my back will start hurting, my neck will hurt, my neck and my back. I hurt my back and my neck. So just trying to get things like this chair that will help minimize that. So this is definitely something that takes a lot of discipline. Let me take these off. It's not even something that I do every day, but even a few hours of uninterrupted work is better than a full eight hour day of half-assed work. And that's why when I was working a full-time job, I worked definitely less than 40 hours a week. Don't tell my manager that. But I was able to output more work than my peers because of these techniques. But everyone works differently. These are just my methods. And this was meant to give you guys some tips or some guidelines for things that you can incorporate into your own workflow. The code is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. So hopefully you got value out of this video. If you did, like the video, consider subscribing for more content, and thank you guys for watching. And I almost forgot, as always, keep on coding. All right, now what are you guys doing watching me? Go, don't you guys have work to do? Jeez.